We gave birth to Xander about a year ago. And so we had these different businesses, three different cultures, and we wanted to bring them all together into one company. And of course, you're here in our beautiful new headquarters space in the Flatiron in New York. And a big part of culture is making sure people are working in a comfortable, stylish, functional, technology-driven office environment. And so we're really proud of this space. We put a lot of time and thought and effort into it. We could have done a lot of things. There are lots of shiny glass office buildings in New York, but we like the flat iron. We like this building. There are scenes from uh, Big that were filmed here, and Mattel had its headquarters here. You know, it's a beautiful old building, but we've put a lot of time and effort and investment in it to make sure it's contemporary and stylish and comfortable. So it's a nice balance of the two. We're on the second floor, um, and that is complete or almost complete. And so this is really kind of our, our reception floor, our, our showroom floor. Um, we will, over the course of the next year, renovate another five floors in this building, and we'll be moving the rest of our New York-based employees into this building by next summer. In a floor plan this large, and this is one of the largest floor plates in the city, sometimes if you're sitting in the middle of the floor plate, you're far from the sun. And we have this great feature where we've got a massive atrium in the middle of the building. And so people that are sitting away from either 23rd Street or 22nd Street have just as much light as everybody else. We want it to show uh, movement and motion, which is indicative of the dynamism of our business. But we also want it to sort of show how data can be used in a physical manifestation of uh, of our structure, our building, uh, you know, our lobby. And so the sculpture moves depending on how many people are in the room or how those people are moving. The sculpture will mirror that movement. But really it was just about showing that innovation um, and that dynamic environment that we're trying to create. Causes that are important to Xander are welcome to come and use our auditorium. A big reason why we have this auditorium is so that we can engage with our community. You know, you'll find that on most nights of the week it's being used. Many times it's for one of our groups uh, that just wants to have a, a large gathering. But in many cases it's causes that our employees care about and they want um, those communities to come in and use our space. I think when you think about office design, sometimes you think about big Silicon Valley companies that are very utilitarian and very technology driven. We wanted to be more stylish than that because we're an advertising business and we wanted to bring back some of the glamour of the advertising business. But at the same time, AT&T has such a rich history of technology, engineering, and innovation, and so we wanted to weave that through. So I think we've really struck the balance of the history of AT&T with a very contemporary view of a technology and data-driven advertising business.